This is a company that sent me an envelope that is a puzzle that I thought I'd try. It's one to two hours. Well, I think I can do it faster than that. Ages 10 plus, one to four players. I think I can do all of that. The escape room in an envelope, escape mail, episode one, family secrets. It can't be that hard here. It's saying episode one, difficulty standard. Some sort of letters here. It says here, cuz, open with care. Got it. I don't know if that's talking to me or that's already part of the puzzle. But I'm going to certainly open it with care. Oh, I, what is escape mail? It's an escape room in an envelope. How do I play watch this video and watch the intro video to ensure you get off to a great start? Scan the QR code to begin. It says here to solve the puzzle, you'll need scissors, which I have, my computer, which I have right over here, the internet connection, a pencil, which I have, I guess a pen, I hope that's good enough. And I also have tape, scotch tape, which I have. I hope that's, so I'm gonna watch the video and then I'm, let's do it. So the best place to get started is simply open up this envelope and begin by checking out this letter from your long lost cousin, JJ Fitzpatrick. Read that with a keen eye and that's definitely gonna set you off in the right direction. I've got my thing, I've got my scissors, I've got my tape, I've got a pen, I've got an internet connection, and now it's time, I guess, to open up the envelope and let's open it up. Let's see. That's everything. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got this letter, which I feel we're gonna probably need to read first. And we've got these other items here, which I have a feeling we're going to get to in a second. I also see that we have some sort of thing called a flow card here. But the first thing I think we need to do is open up and read this letter. Hello, cuz. Oh, it does. Cuz. Open with care. Signed, looks like JJ. Also the person who signed that. Hello, cousin. I hope this reaches you quickly. Time is running out. I'll cut to the chase. You don't know who I am, but I know who you are. Ooh. My name is Joshua Jordan Fitz Fitzpatrick, and I am your cousin, twice removed on your mother's side. The reason that you are receiving this letter is because I cannot trust the family. They have kept my existence a secret from you. I know this will come as a surprise, but I desperately need your help. I was going through our great grandpa Alfred's belongings recently and came across some mysterious documents and artifacts. After going through it all, I've discovered that he has left behind for us a way to reclaim this family secret. More treasures and gold coins than you can imagine, and it is rightfully ours. Since uncovering the documents, I have been followed by a ruthless group of individuals that also believe this treasure is theirs. They call themselves the Hunters, but I will not sacrifice our family's fortune to people without compassion. And that's underlined, compassion. I have scanned and printed out copies of just a few of Alfred's things, Alfred, to show you, including three pieces of a map. Not sure where the fourth piece is yet. I've embedded a series of tests in these documents for you to prove that you're up for the adventure with me. If you can successfully decode all of this, I'll see you on the other side. Good luck, JJ. So let's just take a look at what we have. We have a map that is incomplete, actually. There's a few pieces to this map, but it's an incomplete map. It only has, looks like three pieces, the upper right quadrant, a lower left quadrant, and a lower right quadrant, but it's missing a fourth quadrant. We'll have to deal with that. It has this shipping manifest, which has Exports on it, including an arrow, I guess, to start us off here. Cornmeal, okay, all of these items, as well as the quantities, as well as the dates, okay. We'll have to take a look at that. It's got a coded map here with what looks like, if you can figure this out, will tell us something here. It's got something here, which... I don't understand. However, 
it does sort of match the color and design of the envelope as this also does sort of match the color and design of that envelope. So I have a feeling the envelope might actually be important. So I'm gonna save that. Then there is the string, which we'll have to figure out. And then there's this one-sided thing that has what well, looks like a compass of, of some sort. Skull to skull, bone to bone, face to face, never alone. Another one and another one. Well, well, the first thing that I think we need to do, in my gut uh, tells me, is that we need to look at the map and figure out how all of this sort of starts us in a path. So we know that these three go. We don't have the fourth here. And the other thing that sort of strikes me and it makes me wonder if somehow cutting out these, which is why you need the scissors, placing them here, and then using some sort of string to calculate a distance will help me get to the clues. If I look at the map, besides what's missing, it looks very straightforward. It doesn't look, but there is an arrow here, a red arrow that says black, there are, is one Little Rock, Greenfield, there are little arrows here. And I have a feeling if we could decipher this stuff, it'll probably tell us where to go there. The shipping manifest, I don't know exactly what that has to do with anything yet. Perhaps the numbers are important. And notice there's that red arrow, which I said is tied to the little arrows. We'll have to get to that. And then we have this. When I look at this, something tells me that it's tied to this. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. I probably didn't, don't have the best scissors for it, but I'm gonna cut it out because I'm kind of convinced that that has something to do with it. The reason I th see this is because I see this sort of thing here and I wonder if it leads to letters, so let's, let me just cut it all out. Okay, so I, I cut it out. I didn't have the greatest scissors or actually cuticle scissors or curve, but, and also, but as anybody knows, also I'm a lefty. Um, scissors and lefties do not go hand in hand. So, but I kind of feel like, whoops, there's something here because I see numbers on the outside of this ring and I see digits on the inside. And so it's, for example, if you were to put it like this and point it at the one, it shows you E, it's like a compass. So it shows you, for example, zero, it shows you T. So then the question is, okay, so there's some sort of code. Now this is north, and we all know that this is the Southern Sea. So this is probably north, something like this to start. So we have that. We also have these other ones. Not sure the connection yet. I think that I'll just go ahead and cut these other ones out just because. I've cut them all out. I'm not exactly sure if I've done the right thing or not. I just felt the instinct was to cut them out and it told me I needed scissors. It also tells me I need tape. So I'm wondering if they get taped a certain way. I don't know. I don't know, let me just look at this again. You know, I thought this was weird that they had the word cut underlined and the underlined, it almost didn't really make sense. In here, compassion was weird that it, but without compassion, I thought it was weird that they mentioned the word compassion. But when I look at these words, I see cut, the, coins, and compassion out. Cut the coins and compassion out are the six, oh, cut the coins and compass out are the six underlined words. So it's, it's telling me to cut the coins and compassion out. That says west, so my instinct is it goes like this, and there's gonna be some sort of clue here. For example, A is a letter, 13 is a number, and perhaps there's some way to, to do this. I, I don't know. Hmm. Well, let's see. When I look at the map, I don't see any, I see a lot of little arrows. They see numbers down here, three, four, six, 14, four. Oh, wait, eight, seven, eight, three, nine. What does that mean? 
what do I have that's 87839? Pirate, pirate, although maybe these numbers correspond with this. For example, eight, if I was to put it so this was on eight, it would be the letter E, see that? Eight would be E, okay. Seven, what would, if I was to put on seven, it would be V. I suppose I should be writing this down if there, this is something at all. E, V, three, three, E, V, Oh, 878, E, V, E, R, 9. E, V, E, R, I, every, every, every. The only thing I can think of here is that it's something, something, some, something plus something plus something equals that. That's the flow chart. And so maybe this would be every, and then somehow these two coins, this and this. So, hmm. I know that this skull and crossbones, and this one has a skull and crossbones. So obviously this is up and this is up. I'm assuming it goes here because it's pointed up. Maybe this, I don't know this, pointed up. If I was to match them, it points to ninth. Ninth? Ninth. What else would be ninth around here? Anything ninth? 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 Eighteenth? Sixteenth? No, not ni ninth. Here? Well, it says just these two coins, so maybe it just, that that is, maybe that's it, maybe ninth. And if I went back to this, since it says just the two coins and there's three blanks, maybe it's a ninth. Every ninth, maybe it's telling, oh, okay, maybe it's telling me some directions. Every ninth something. Every ninth, could it be the envelope it's referring to? This is this and the string, so this must be the envelope it's referring to. I wonder if I hold it through the, every ninth, if I hold it up to a light, maybe? I, I'm gonna try to hold it up to a light. I don't have a flashlight, but I do have the, the light that I'm using to light this puzzle. Oh, yes, okay, so it's working, okay. Okay, so when I did hold this up to the light, this plus this shines through and it makes the word letter, L-E-T-T-E-R. I'll show you the picture when I held it up to the light. So that would mean this then is letter. Every ninth letter. Okay, every ninth letter, and then it's showing me the manifest list. So basically it's saying, go through the manifest list, take every ninth letter. I'm guessing this means this is where it's saying to start. Every ninth letter, skip the numbers I assume. So every ninth letter, well this is gonna take some time here. Every ninth letter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, E. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, E. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on this. Every ninth letter, let's see what I come up with. <sighs> okay, okay, and this. So I, I went through each one and wrote it down and Honestly, E, every ninth letter, E, M, A, I, L, email, 
me at j j o r d a n at gmail.com so I I think I have so this is what I have. I have email me at jj j, email me at jjordanfitz at gmail dot com. Um, I guess that's why they said I need an internet connection. I don't know what I'm supposed to put in the subject line though. Let me think about this. I'm using my phone to shoot this, so I'm going to have to use my iPad to send an email. I hit send on the email. And it took me a while, but I got a response. And so here's the response. It says, cousin, I'm so relieved that you have been able to follow my clues. You must act quickly. The hunters are on my tail and they want this gold as badly as we do. Use this translation of the ancient text to solve your next step. Good luck, JJ. P.S. The string is about 20 fathoms. And then there is a, a code here, which obviously is going to have to be what solves this. So I'm going to need to use this code to solve this. I think I have to remember that the string is about 20 fathoms. That seems like it's going to be important. Fathom as a distance, as you know. Okay. So I've got... To figure out, I wonder what the tape is for, by the way. I haven't used the tape on anything. Um, probably the string. All right, so folks, I still got this and this, but we use this. Now we're here. I'm going to have to use the code from the email, I guess, to figure this out. Give me about five minutes to use my code and decipher this. I'll be right back. Okay, this took me a long time. To, to code it, but this is what it says. I wrote it above, it took me a long time. So, in fact, I'm not even totally sure what it means, but I get that it has to do with the map. It says 20 fathoms from starting location, mark the letters as you go. From there, half that distance half again, half one more time, mobile escape dot ca slash, and then there's a blank. The string is going to come in handy. Let me think about this. So where's the starting? distance. Why don't we have a full map? Let me think about this. From 20 fathoms, which is the string, from the starting location, mark the letters as you go from there. Okay. But where's the starting location? Where's, uh, this is what I don't understand. Where's the starting location? And secondly, we have this, which, according to this flow card, is next. So I don't know what this puzzle has to do with this as next. It seems like this would match if I put it like this, right? Does it match like that? Monkey I don't so apparently this is Monkey's Bay. Apparently this is Monkey's Bay. I had to get a hint 
But that's the starting point. Monkey's Bay is the starting point. So if we come back here, 20 fathoms, which as we know is the string, from the starting location, from starting locations, marks mark the letters as you go. And we now know that Monkey's Bay is the starting location. So, okay. So let's do that. Where is Monkey's Bay? Monkey's Bay. Buccaneers Bay, Green Bay, Whales Bay, Pirates Bay, Dragons Bay, Newport Bay. Uh-oh, where's Monkey's Bay? Oh, Monkey's Bay. So the thing is, I know that the first one is 20 fathoms, but nothing really re reaches 20 fathoms. I see. I think that's what the red arrow is for. You see as it comes around? Okay, so we have here the distance 20 fathoms, which is here from Monkey's Bay to here, which is Little Village. Okay, so mark the letters as you go from here. Okay, what letters? So you can see that there's an M pointing to that arrow. If I put this here, in fact, what I need, I now know what I need the tape for. The tape is I need to hold this frickin' map in place. Okay, now I'm holding the map in place. And if I put this here on the M by this arrow, the only thing it reaches is this little village. And see there is an A, the arrow points to the A. So let's go M. So let's go here. M, A. Then it says to half, then it says to, from there, half that distance. Okay. So I'm going to take the rope and I'm going to half it. Good thing I have the scissors because I think I have to be really specific here. And I've got to half that distance again. Any, where? No, 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 no. Oh, but here. Okay. And so this points to a G. M, A, G. Half again. And we're going to go from the G. Geez, I don't think we're going to get anywhere. Oh, all we can fit here is I, the Pirate's Bay, and that's an I. Okay, so M-A-G-I, Magi. I guess we'll try to keep going. Half one more time. Okay. From the I, I guess the only place it goes here, which is a C. Magic. So if we came back here, mobile escape dot CA slash magic. So I guess the next thing is to go to this website, mobile escape dot ca slash magic all right let's go to it hey cousin it's me jj nice to meet you and nice work good job on solving all the puzzles that i sent you now that i know that you're smart enough and that i can trust you we can start talking about the location of the treasure now take a look at the treasure map that i sent you you'll see that it's actually missing a fourth piece which not again activate emergency protocol Well, it looks to me like that's the end of episode one, and now it's telling us to go do episode two. So I guess the puzzle continues and we need this. So here's my review. 
It was fun. It was interesting. It was a little challenging. I needed a hint in one part. But what I didn't like is it, I, I don't like all the going online. It's sort of, I like the map. I like the treasure. I like the 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 hieroglyphics and the codes and, and all of these things. To me, having then to go online twice, once to send an email and once then to solve the puzzle, sort of worked against it. If he was why didn't this guy just send me an email instead of a letter if I was going to have to email him back? Why is there a, a handwritten manifest when we're dealing in technology? I, I get that that's part of the game of it, but if I didn't have to go email or a website, I think it would be much better. That's my review, and if you're interested in me doing episode two, yeah, I'll let me know in the comments. I will give props to whoever these guys are who sent me this. I, I'm assuming this must be the real name of who they are. I give them props, man. They, I didn't even know you had to pay to get a second episode. Um, I guess I was lucky enough to get it. I don't know who these guys are, but I love guys who are out there trying to make puzzles and make it happen. Great job, guys. Episode 1, Family Secrets Escape Mail. There you go.